Delta State Police raise alarm. Says monarchs raise fund for Fulanese to buy land in Delta State. The state police boss express this belief that Deltans would rather prefer to keep mute than interrogate the land deals, which from present day happenings have put some communities at the mercy of rampaging Fulani headsmen. His words, one of the traditional rulers at one time was so perplexed and ran to his counterpart with regard to the way and manner he was giving Fulani sanctuaries with reckless abandon are they giving the land for free we are aware they are collecting money from these fulani headsmen and people are not looking at all these things we started suspecting headsmen have been on rampage in delta especially in ibuzo isele azagwa Opanam, Azaba, Oguashuku, and before now in Uweru Kingdom. We want to know when, as a commissioner of police, you will be able to stop hostage taking and kidnapping in Delta State. Inua responded, First of all, I want to tell you that as police, it is our constitutional responsibility to protect lives and property. Crime and criminality thrive everywhere. What I am trying to say is that there is no society all over the world that is isolated from crime. Our hundred percent. However, our ability to bring criminality to tolerable level is what makes us as a security force so people should stop seeing or looking for government to provide absolute security for them if all the security agencies would come together they cannot give a hundred percent security without the tacit cooperation of members of the public absolute security is possible members of the public must know that they too have civic responsibility to themselves, to their communities, to the state and the nation at large. Unfortunately, this is absent in our people generally and I am not particular about any state or sector. The answer is yes. We have been making series of arrests and recoveries. We have arrested some kidnappers at Ogara, who are Fulani, and we handed them to the Commissioner of Police, Kogi State. We also arrested some of them somewhere close to Edo State and handed over to Commissioner of Police, Edo State, who also handed them over to Commissioner of Police, Kogi State. We are trying to see if we can recover the arms based on the information we get. Thank you for listening to this news. Yes, it is true, we know that the Nigerian police force or Nigeria as a country cannot um, guarantee the country a hundred percent security. But Nigeria as a country is supposed to at least make a move in the aspect of security in the country. We need we need security. Nigeria needs security. The people need security. The people need protection. 
the people needs uh, uh, the need to be to be secured. Even if Nigeria cannot assure them hundred percent, at least they should be secured. Um, I want to appreciate the the move of the police boss in Delta State for raising this alarm because keeping mute will help to worsen the situation the situation which these uh, monarchs in Delta State are doing by uh, making um, fund available for these Fulanese to buy land for rural settlement you can see what we're saying they are, uh, 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 they, they are now giving Fulanese um, equal rights with the with the indigents of the state, which is not supposed to be so. Nigerians know the antics of most security agencies, and none of them should come to open mouth to preach morality. Traditional rulers equally allotted forest to the kidnappers. Traditional rulers permit the criminals the right to destroy other farms by encouraging rural settlements. Traditional rulers prevent the security agencies access to bring the criminals to book. The best thing that will happen in Nigeria is for our lawmakers to legislate on rights to carry arms. Criminals we think twice, knowing fully well that families are fully harmed. Security agencies we have less to worry about. No traditional ruler will collaborate with criminals. It is the present security architectures that promote all of that. I tell you. So, you arrested criminals in Delta State and send them to Kogi State. Why not investigate and try them in Delta State? Why not? We know they were not transferred to Kogi for trial, but we are released through the back door, and that is just the truth. So stop fooling. Fully, fully yourself, thinking you are fully Nigerians. Soon, and very soon, all this rubbish will be over. All these things are political. In some way, I still disagree with the police boss because it is the responsibility of the Inspector General to post a police commissioner to a state, but is the commissioner that assigned police DPOs and area commanders presently in the north. You see, in other words, the people should should do something and at least secure themselves. Um, they should not wait for the state government to um, carry out uh, or set up security force to protect them. They themselves on their own should do something concerning their own security because their security is what is paramount. Okay? So, my viewers, I don't know um, what your own comment concerning this news may be. Don't forget to leave them behind. Click on the subscription buttons as well as bell button to receive more updates. Thank you.